Hello and welcome to France 24. Thank you for joining us. First to Syria, where it seems the only way of feeling safe is to get out. There has been a surge in Syrians braving the risks to flee to neighbouring Lebanon. In Russia, thousands of protesters are fighting election results that will see Putin return to presidential power. Frustrated opponents packed the streets of Moscow and St. Petersburg on Monday, declaring that voting fraud had prevailed once again. Hundreds were arrested, but their protests have been boosted by an international election observer mission, which states there were serious problems in the vote. A scene of utter devastation with collapsed buildings and bodies still believed to be buried in rubble. Well, two leaders concerned about Iran's nuclear intentions, but Monday's meeting between US President Barack Obama and Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu failed to narrow the gap on their different ideas on how best to deal with Iran's nuclear program. Obama's still calling for a diplomatic solution, but Netanyahu remains unconvinced that military action should not be considered. In the French presidential race, President Nicolas Sarkozy is refusing to let his drop in popularity this week get in the way of his campaign for re-election. Facing off his socialist rival and frontrunner François Hollande, Sarkozy's team dismissed any notion of faltering confidence. Madagascar has been hit by a fatal cyclone, killing at least 65 people. Well, one year on since the Fukushima disaster, the earthquake and tsunami that swept away communities along the coast of Japan. With tons of contaminated debris still there, it's making the cleanup a risky process. Well, we leave it there. We're back with more news in 20 minutes.